feeling down because people aren't receiving the help that you'd like to give them. Feeling down because you feel that whatever you're doing is not changing anyone. Well, one should remember that you are never meant here as a changer. Yes, many people might be looking at great examples from history, religion, philosophy, literature, whatever source of inspiration people may have. And they may look at those figures that they have caused so much change in the world. But they weren't the ones to have caused the change. See, Jesus' is coming in this world didn't change anyone. Yes, it barely changed anyone who knew around. Yes, maybe the uh, disciples went into the world and spread his teachings. But when he lived, he wasn't surrounded by too many people. Yes, he wasn't surrounded by too many people who would follow his uh, teachings. And even in, even one of his apostles, if I remember correctly, turned against him. Yes, I'm a bit fuzzy right now with my mind because I've got a few things to handle, but even one of the people around him turned against him. Yes, and well, he ended up having a gruesome fate. So when you look at all these great people, they weren't necessarily the ones who have caused the changes. It was just people uh, taking those teachings and, well, making use of those for themselves. So in life, remember that you are never meant to change people. Just rule by an example. And don't forget, if you are to change or to do your talent in front of 1,000 people, most likely 90% of them uh, will not care or they will turn somewhat against you. They will try to pull you down. Because miserable people are miserable still because they invest all their energies into their misery. So they're not ready to be saved. Or, well, you can call it some other how, they're not willing to be saved. Yes? Remember that when you want to do something good in the world, you're not doing something good in the world to change people. You're just interested in being a possible example. This is a very powerful uh, shift in perception. Because you have to understand, ruling by example is a thing. People may not follow you. Most likely they will not follow you with your example today. But if you make it big and you enter in the pages of history, maybe you will help some other generations in the, you know, incoming years. Maybe even a few hundred years later. Because if you look at Krishna, if you look at Jesus, if you look at any of these big personalities, even Mohammed, they have created change in the world, but most likely not as great in like during their lifetime as afterwards, right? So, if it comes to causing a change in the world, just present yourself as an example and focus on that one or two or a few people who thank you for what you have been doing instead of focusing on the thousands of people who simply uh, can't care or they don't want to be changed, they don't want to do anything, and they would fight brainlessly against anyone who wants to do something different. If you want a different option or a different viewpoint, think about this. See, in the sorrowful case that, let's say, a big cruise ship is uh, flipped over by a storm, or whatever happens and people need to be saved, well, the Coast Guard will intervene, obviously. Most likely they will be say, helped by neighboring countries as well, but the Coast Guards don't have an infinite amount of choppers, right? The helicopters that will come, they will try to save the ones who swim towards them. They won't bother too much to save the people who, you know, just sit there waiting to be saved. Because the people who want to live, the people who cherish their lives, they will do everything possible so that they will be observable. So, in this way, most of the miserable people will already have given up, right? So out of those, let's say, 1,000 people, if you save a few dozen people, maybe even a few hundred people, it's always a win because at least you save the people who tried to do something in life. The miserable people, unfortunately, in history, well, you shouldn't take this as an example to discard them, but in history, the miserable people have always been forgotten. Kind of no one remembers them anyways. So always... Be thankful about those people that admit you have caused changed in their changes in their life. 
Many of the miserable people may still follow you, but they're not going to bother much about thanking you because most likely they don't want you to know that they have uh, taken a bit of change in their life, whatever emotions they might have. So this being said, hopefully this video raised a bit of awareness. You are appreciated. Take care, enjoy life. And this being said, Ferenc Janbor signing out.